Hey guys, what's going on? It's Josh Small, the voice for Swimming Pool Science. And for those of you that are disappointed that this is not the kind of naked hot tub party you thought it was going to be, well, I'm sorry. We don't do those kind of videos here. This is a spa that is naked and we are having a party here, getting it ready to fill it in with shotcrete. Take it to uh, the next step of completion. But I figured this would be a good time to kind of show you what's going on inside of a spa because this is like getting a live action x-ray. So uh, let's take a look at some of the details and some of the important things that go into um, building a spa and, uh, and how that can be extrapolated out to how you would build an entire swimming pool. The reinforcement bar frame of the pool, spa, or water feature acts as a skeleton for the shell structure itself. Air, water lines, and electrical conduits are heated and bent to follow the contours of the shape whenever possible to minimize restrictions. All the plumbing lines get capped and filled with water for static pressure testing. This ensures that any faulty joints or leaks are found and repaired before the plumbing is buried under finished landscaping and encased in shotcrete. Residential water structures commonly use grade 40 deformed reinforcement bar to magnify the strength of the shotcrete shell. The added strength of the rebar shotcrete composite is demonstrated in the footage from our pool demo video. While this fragment of deck slab was formed from a lower strength concrete, it shatters like glass from a six foot drop due to its lack of reinforcement. On the other hand, this 750 pound hydraulic breaker will take hours to chip down the walls of this old pool, even in the hands of a skilled operator due to its higher strength and reinforcement. Strength is critical in a pool, spa, or water feature shell. A 20,000 gallon or 75,000 liter pool has to contain over 165,000 pounds or 75,000 kilograms of water. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're a big fan of destruction like me. When tying into an existing pool shell, holes must be drilled, cleaned, then filled with epoxy. Then the rebar for the addition is placed into them in order to lock the two structures together. The area where old shell and new shotcrete make contact must be rinsed and should be scored to allow for a sturdy mechanical grip at the cold joint where old meets new. It's critical to make sure that stub outs for return and therapy jets are placed several inches away from the rebar. This ensures that therapy jets won't vibrate against the rebar and that the rebar is well encased in shotcrete so it won't corrode. Wall thickness and rebar placement on raised spas and pools should ensure that enough shotcrete is in place so that it can stand the test of time. In this case, we have our plumbing in the center with rebar on either side ensuring the whole system remains strong for decades. The wire ties that fasten the rebar together where pieces intersect should be twisted as tight as possible, cut short, and even bent over to ensure that they are buried well within the shotcrete. The shotcrete thickness on either side of a piece of rebar is a minimum of 3 inches per code. In the event that the shotcrete is cut or shaved too close to the rebar, this can be a corrosion point which will create iron staining on the finished surface. More importantly though, it will compromise the strength of the shell. Like our plumbing lines, the light cord conduit is heated and bent to the path of least resistance to ease the process on installing and replacing the light. Bonding all metal components within 5 feet of the pool or spa is absolutely critical and required by code and law. A number 8 solid copper wire is used to connect all metal components including the rebar shell and, in some situations, the water itself, thereby preventing electrical charges from building up in individual components containing metal, which can result in mild electric shocks to bathers and electrolysis and corrosion of metal components. Well, I hope this video was informative for you. If you enjoyed this and you've checked out some of our other videos, please 
do us all a favor, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons and uh, help us spread the word about swimming pool science. And uh, you know, we'd appreciate some feedback if you have anything constructive you'd like to say on how we can improve our videos or any subjects you think might be good to, uh, to touch on. So uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.